Hello. This is Jared from Commit Quality, and in today's video, we're going to go over the background keyword in Durkin. Now, the background keyword is super useful. It's a way to provide common steps that are run before each scenario in your feature file. The background will always be executed first, and then the steps provided in your scenarios are executed after. This is following on from my first video. If you haven't seen it, I really suggest going to watch it, because that's going to give you a walkthrough of these primary keywords but i'm using the same scenario so i've got one where i'm logged in successfully one where it's unsuccessful one where i do not enter a password and we had an example here of login being very specific what we can do is actually delete that because that wasn't an actual scenario now we do obviously have more scenarios we could add to this but this is just a simple example and i want to show specifically background today so what we typically can do is above all your scenarios but underneath your feature you can write background and like i said what this is going to do is it's going to execute a bunch of setup steps before everything else and as we're looking at our scenarios there's one thing here that is always the same it's this given step is I'm always going to the login page. So instead of having in each single scenario, what I could actually say is cut it out to here, paste it up here and remove it from these two scenarios. And under the hood, when your tests are being automated and executed, what, what I would do is once you've wrote the code for this given step is this this given would go inside each scenario before these when steps run. So we'll say given I'm on the commit quality login page for this scenario, then I'll do the same for this and the same for this. It's a way of really tidying up your tests. And imagine you had five different steps for 10 different scenarios. Instead of having these bulky scenarios, you could add them all in here. So I could say given when X, Y, Z and I do this what you're able actually to do then is instead of having in all your scenarios making a big bulky scenario you can just have multiple steps or a single given step which is defined once in the background and executed as part of each scenario if you're working with a cucumber or specflow project you're definitely going to be seeing this background keyword so definitely one for you to know as always if you do have any questions or comments please drop them down below a like and subscribe is appreciated thanks for watching have a good day